Okay, guys, we're going to have to export the uh, character a little differently because of some of the limitations. So this won't work, the Send and Mixamo. So what you have to do is click on File, Export, Object as OBJ. Um, do that. Let's go OK. Give it a name. We're going to go Fire Fighter or something, I guess, under wherever you down. I'm going to go to Downloads. Click Save. And now it's going to download. There's a progress bar down here. And this is important. So once you've downloaded him, you have to actually zip the file like we talked about at the beginning of the year. So you're going to go over here and under Downloads. I always do this and then click on uh, Most Recent. Why do I not see that? I don't see the dates here. That's bizarre. What was he called? Firefighter? There he is. Okay. So we're going to click on that and it's got everything in there, which what you need to do is go to the character, right click on the Mac and compress firefighter. Now in uh, Windows, you also right click and I think it's send to and then zip. Okay. So what it's going to do is zip it here. Okay. And this is what you need now. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open a browser. You're going to go to Mixamo. You're going to log in. Make sure you're logged into your Google. Uh, then you're going to use your Google for the password. So, uh, I don't know, January 1st, 2000. Just to go quickly here. Stay informed. No. I have. Uh, sure. You have to do that. Click go. So now it's going to open. It'll look differently than what I showed you in the video. So now you actually have to bring your character in, but you bring in the zip file. So uh, go ahead, upload character, and select character file, and firefighter, open. This will take a minute. It's a little slower when you do it this way. And the other thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to actually have to rig the character. So create a skeleton. Uh, with the uh, Fuse version, it does it automatically, but uh, because of the way the school board set up the uh, the licenses, uh, we are unable to do it automatically. So we're going to wait again a few minutes. Shouldn't be much longer. And everything else will be the same. Once you've created and selected your animation and you've rigged it, when you're done, you download the animation that you want. So you see now what happened? The texture should come in. That's why you zip it, because if you just upload the OBJ file, which is uh, the one without the textures, you won't be able to see what he looks like. So uh, I'm going to just scroll down here for a second, click Next. And then you have to do this uh, uh, manually, because uh, it was normally does it automatically with the new views, but you have to do this. Wherever you think the elbows are, and try to make it carefully select where you think it is because you'll look all awkward otherwise next and uh, shortly he will uh, be animated and then what you're gonna do is pick your animation and uh, again pick an animation that looks cool that you can bring into Photoshop so you can make a very quick poster of your uh, nemesis I'm going to wait and take up to two minutes. I don't know if I have that much time, but I don't really feel like pausing either. All right, so we're going to just see if this is done. Should be almost done now. I will open it. So there he is. He's uh, animated and he's ready to go. So now what you can do, so we're just expand this window a little bit, is select an animation of your choice. So we're going to go with, I'm going to go with boxing. And we're going to import it this into Photoshop after. 
let's just go with this one here because we need a cool photo, cool pose. And let's uh, play around. Yeah, it looks perfect. You can play around with this a little bit. When you're happy, you basically download it. And since it's coming into Photoshop, I want to remind you that uh, the .dae file format works the best. Click download and you're good to go. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Thank you.